एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल आशा करूँ तुम लोग आटे भले कुशले आसा जो आज मोर चेनेल नतुनको आसा तेन चेनेल तो सबसक्राइब कर दिबा भिडिबूर जो भल लगे सबसक्राइब कर दु पारा सीट तुम लोग चईस बार इतना ये एलो आम इतना पुने पुने क्वेश्चन एन्सार समूह जा आगत कह दूँ आज मैं तुम लोग लैंडस्केप अब दोल यूथ चेप्टर क्वेश्चन एन्सार समूह दीम गति के आशा करूँ तुम तुम लोग भिडिट भल पाबा जो भिडिट भल लगे तेन चेनेल तो सबसक्राइब कर भिडिओ तो लाइक और शेयरों को तो अं इतना पुने पुने क्वेश्चन एन्सार खि चाय लो प्रथम क्वेश्चन तो नेम द रटर अब द प्रो स्पीच लैंडस्केप अब दोल नाथलि ट्रवर इज द रटर अब द प्रो स्पीच लैंडस्केप अब दोल नेम द ब्लैक स्मिथ हू फेल इन लाभ उथथ द पेन्टर्स डटर Quintin Matsis was the blacksmith who fell in love with the painter's daughter. Where did Quintin sneak? Quintin loved the painter's daughter, so he sneaked into the painter's studio. What did Quintin paint on a panel? Quintin painted a fly on a panel and it looked like a living fly. Next question to hold. What is the concept of Shan Shui? 2018 at Ahise. Shan Shui which literally means mountain water is used to Describe a canvas containing mountain and water. The mountain is called Yang and the water is called Yin. What is middle void? Middle void is the interaction between the Yang and the Yin and it is presented as the unpainted white space in Chinese landscape. Who moted the concept of art brute? French painter Jean de Buffet moted the concept of art brute in the 1940s who is hailed as india's biggest contributor to outsider art nick chen is hailed as india's biggest contributor to outsider art ek eta alok dikhal question answer ase who is vodauzi who commissioned him to paint a landscape what did the he paint for the emperor 2016 at ahise vodauzi is a famous chinese painter who lived in the 8th century tang emperor juanjun commissioned vodauzi to paint a landscape vodauzi painted a magnificent natural scenery containing wonderful scene forest high mountains waterfalls the sky full of clouds man on hilly paths and birds in flight b it was a describe the describe and contrast the features of the chinese and the european art of landscape 2050 that he said the prime difference between the chinese and european view regarding art of landscape in that chinese landscape is not mean to reproduce an actual view whereas european landscape draws an exact replica of the landscape a chinese painter does not choose a single view point unlike european landscape c2 is a How did the Europe? How did the uh, emperor react when he saw Vodauzi's painting? The emperor commissioned Vodauzi to paint a landscape for his royal walls. When he saw it, the emperor had no words to praise the magnific magnificence of the landscape. For quite a long while, the emperor admired the wonderful painting. He devoured every element of the painting with his eyes. The painter. Then showed him a secret cave in the picture, and the painter get disappeared in the cave. The emperor remained stunned, uh, stunned and speechless. What did Vodauzi say to the emperor? How did he disappear? Vodauzi described the painting to the emperor, and he showed a cave to the emperor. and said that in that cave a spirit lived at the foot of the mountain then vodauzi clapped his hands before the painting and surprisingly an entrance got got open the painter entered the cave through the entrance and it got closed behind him before he he uh, before the king could understand what was happening vodauzi had disappeared Next to is a what is the significance of the stories associated with Chinese landscape in China's uh, classical education? 
There are many legends associated with Chinese landscapes. Such stories used to help the master to guide his uh, disciple in the right direction. These stories also reveal the spirit of the Chinese people in which art was considered. F2. What did Budazi want to reveal to the emperor through his painting? Budazi through his painting revealed that an emperor rules over a limited territory, but an artist has a wide imaginary world where he wanders without limit. The emperor, sh uh, the emperor could pay for the outer surface of the painting, but the painter knew the way within. A true painting hides clueless meanings and an ordinary man cannot discover the true meaning of the creation. A painting has a divine goal and the painter achieved it through his painting. But the emperor got no clue about that. Jin Jitusa, what is the concept of Shan Shui? Or what do mountain and water represent in Shan Shui? Shan Shui is literally means mountain water is used to describe a canvas containing mountain, mountain and water. The mountain is called Yang and the water is called Yin. Shan Shui reflects Taoist view of the universe. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm going to go Okay. The mountain which reaches vertically to the heaven is stable and warm and also represents active and masculine nature, whereas the water is fluid, moist and cool resting on the earth. The water is symbolic of feminine aspect of the universe. Okay. H to Swa. What is middle void? Middle void is the interaction interaction between the yang and the yin and it is presented as the, uh, as the unpainted white space in Chinese land, landscape. Middle void is often compared to yogic practice of inhale and exhale of air. But middle void is the paint when um, middle void uh, middle void is the point when one holds the bread. It is very important because nothing can happen without middle void. Thus the unpainted white space has a deep meaning in Chinese landscape. What is the significance of man in the universe? Man is very important in the universe because he is the condu uh, conduit pipe between heaven and earth, the both poles of the universe. In the words of Frank Kui Sang, presence of man is very essential because he is the eye of a landscape. Who was Jane de Buffet? What concept of art did he pro propound? Jane de Buffet was a French painter. Jane de Buffet propounded the concept of art brut in 1940s. Next question to say what is art brute or outsider art or what do you understand by the terms outsider art and art brute or raw art. Art brute or outsider art is a form of art generally available for those artists who have not received any formal training yet they deserve to be great artists because of their inborn artistic talent. Their works are Stimulating contrast to a lot of mainstream offering. Who is Nick Chant? What is his contribution to the world of art? Nick Chant is an 80 years old creator and director who hails from India as the biggest contributor to outsider art. Nick Chant has contributed a lot to outsider art. He is the creator of famous rock garden at Chandigarh which he created by clearing a forest and sculpting it with stone and recycled materials. His rock garden sculpture, Women by Waterfall, has been featured in a UK-based magazine titled Raw Vision. Okay. Next question to M. Who was the untold genius who created a paradise? And what is the nature of of his contribution to art. Next Chan, the biggest contributor to outsider art was the untold genius. Um, 
He is the creator of famous rock garden at Chandigarh, which he created by clearing a forest and sculpting it with stone and recycled materials. His rock garden sculpture, Women by Waterfall, has been featured in a UK based magazine titled Raw Vision. A long, uh, long answer type kita mana se? A to swa. What is the Taoist concept of Sun Shui and Taoist view of universe? The universe has two distinct energy, one being masculine, the other is feminine. Taoist view presents that the interaction between do, these two explementary poles is the basic basis of the universe. The Taoist view is best reflected in the concept of Sun Shui which literally means mountain water is used to describe a canvas containing mountain and water. The mountain is called yang and the water is called in. Sanshu reflects Taoist view of the universe. The mountain which reaches vertically to the heaven is stable and warm and also represent active and okay. also represent active and active and masculine nature whereas the water is fluid moist and cool resting on the earth the water is symbolic of feminine aspect of the universe the interaction between yin and yang is the fundamental notion of Taoism. in this regard yin is a feminine and uh, yin is a, a feminine and yang is active masculine form of energy the interaction between the two is very important for life activities to make the universe lively and ever going. Okay, so you question answer was screenshot. Lo liba nae ba video to post kore lihilo ba par. Chhi dekhe lo ke lihilo. Tumhalo kor manotha ki zaba more. Hunote hunote aur eta video jodi tumhalo ke tini sare bar man swa. Tena hale tumhalo kor nize nize ni lihilo ei manotha ki zaba. Ei bor apna amane nize nize manotha ki zaba. Tika sam. Acha. Video swa compare and contrast the Chinese and the European concepts of painting, citing example from the text. Paintings form an integral integral part of every human society as a great work of artistic creativity Chinese paintings and European paintings have their own distinct existence in the world of art of creation which difference of bounty of beauty is the a uh, beauty in the landscape um, Western Western paintings are figurative whereas traditional Chinese landscapes are not not created to recreate the actual scenario painted on it a european landscape is drawn from a specific angle and the painter borrows the eye of the viewers to a landscape as it is drawn on the painting chinese paintings on the other hand are not based on a single viewpoint rather they presented a day present not so real landscape which can be seen from any angles giving distinction meaning uh, distinct meanings from each different angle. Chinese paintings have a unique features called horizontal scrollings, uh, whereas the horizontal uh, um, same. Uh, okay, whereas uh, viewers are taken in different section of painting with slow opening of those section to view a Chinese landscape. The viewers active part participation may be uh, both physical as well as mental the main goal of a chinese painter is not mere borrowing the eyes of the viewers he also wants to viewers to enter his mind the landscape is enlarged and as inner spiritual and conceptual space buddha's last landscape where he got lost is a fine example of chinese paintings whereas quintain matches Brushing a fly with delight, delicate realism, uh, realism is a great example of European landscape. Take us a Akakuru to Malakor video to Palagil. Jedi video to Palagil, then Holly, please like it a Koriba. Miss Soy Koriba, like it a Aru channel to subscribe Kuri Kiba today and a turner video to Maluka Golo Paitaka. To Malakor note Kinni screenshot Mailoba, Navali Kiloba, Aru to Malakor Karkar. Uh, advanced assam is our political science it is a subject as a mukjana basun comment kori janaba thik ase tete leke erisu bhalego khole thaka